So I remember when I got my first Persian rug. It was a graduation gift from my parents and it was this beautiful silken wool, dark navy blue, Nain rug. And at the time, since I was living at home, I didn't really have anywhere to lay down the rug, so I decided to just roll it up and store it away in my closet. Now, several months passed by, and of course, my mom ends up finding the rug stowed away in the corner of my closet, and I remember that she ended up looking at me with this pretty strong look of disappointment that, Sean, you're going to end up destroying this beautiful rug that we gave to you that's supposed to last for generations and luckily us being in the rug business my mom shared a lot of different lessons and tips with me about how to take care of the rug and how to store the rug if i needed to uh, keep it in storage for a long time what i need to do and so today i'm gonna bring all those lessons to you and give you all the tips so that way you can make sure that the rug that you have will also last for many generations to come if you decide to store it away. Hi, I'm Sean with Catalina Rug and in this video we're going to be going over how to properly store your Persian or into a rug so that way you can protect your investment and make sure that it lasts for generations to come. Now in this video we're going to be first going over the different factors that you need to consider when storing your rug and we'll talk about what are the things you're trying to prevent to happen to the rug while it's in storage. Then we'll go over how to uh, properly prepare your rug for storage. We'll do a step by step and cover all that. Then make sure you stick around to the end because we're going to be going over tips to help keep your rug in the best condition possible while it's in storage. And so if you're looking to learn more about this entire process and how to protect your rug, stick around and all that is coming up now. All right, so now let's get into it. So first let's go over what are we trying to prevent from happening to the rug while it's in storage? Basically, what are the enemies of the rug? So the first thing is we're trying to prevent any sort of pests like moth or mice from getting to the rug and eating the fibers. This is a somewhat of a high risk thing that can happen to the rug while it's in storage. The second thing we're trying to prevent is the pile of the rug or the foundation of the rug uh, from getting weak and becoming frail and possibly starting to even decay. This could happen usually due to high humidity and we'll get into more about how to prevent it. The third thing we're trying to prevent is any sort of long-term folds on the rug that could turn into creases that could eventually end up ripping the foundation of the rug and obviously damaging the rug. So those are the three top things we're trying to prevent and that's why we're going to take all these measures that we're about to go over to help us prevent any of these from happening and keeping the rug in great health. Alright, so one of the factors we need to consider is climate and humidity. Basically, we want to avoid any sort of place that has high humidity and hot temperatures. Anywhere that's damp or moist, we want to avoid storing the rug. So the reason for this is again, uh, having high humidity, having a lot of moisture, getting into the fibers of the rug will start making the fibers very weak and eventually they'll start decaying. Also moisture is something that moths and other pests love and they will start developing in the rug if uh, it has a lot of moisture inside of it. And so what we recommend is to use a dehumidifier in a storage area. Also, you can store the rug in an air conditioned place, like a part of the house, a part of your home that's already air conditioned, that's not gonna get very hot and humid. So the next factor to consider is gonna be airflow. So basically we're trying to prevent the rug from sitting in an area where the air is gonna just sit there and be stale. So we wanna find a place where there's adequate ventilation and there's plenty of airflow around the rug. So that way the moisture and humidity doesn't end up building up. So if you're planning to store the rug in a storage unit or in your basement somewhere, make sure that the area is well ventilated and there is enough circulation to prevent the moisture from getting to the rug. So another important factor to consider is the cleanliness of the rug before you put it into storage. So here we just want to make sure that the rug is going to be free of any sort of dirt or debris or anything that can attract pests to the rug while it's in storage. Also another reason we want to make sure the rug is very clean is that the rug could develop some sort of odor over the time that it's in storage so the cleaner the rug is the less probability of those things happening. So the final factor we want to consider is going to be pest control. So as I mentioned several times with oriental rugs there's a higher chance 
of moth and other pests to develop. And this is because of their natural fibers such as wool, silk, and cotton. These are just really great environments for these type of pests to develop. And if they do develop, they could start eating away at the rug and creating holes in it and color distortions and all sorts of problems. And so that's why we need to follow a lot of these uh, procedures and be careful with the air circulation, the humidity, and all these things that we're about to go over when it comes to preparing the rug to make sure that we avoid any sort of pests from developing. Now, if you're enjoying this video, I invite you to like and subscribe and turn on your notification bell because we put out videos just like this every week going over everything related to Persian and oriental rugs and especially how to take care of your rug so you don't want to miss out. Now next, let's go over how to prepare your rug for storage. So the first step is going to be making sure that the rug is clean. So here's where you want to vacuum the rug, make sure you remove any sort of debris, dust or dirt, basically anything that's going to end up attracting any pests to the rug. Also, here's a chance to remove any sort of stains and remove any sort of odor that again could attract pests to the rug. And then finally, if the rug is going to be in storage for a long time, let's say a year or over, then this is the chance to get the rug professionally clean. So that way we make sure that the rug is as clean as possible. So the second step, which is actually optional, is consider using a pest repellent. So the only pest repellent that we ever use or recommend are using mothballs. And what you should know is that if you do use them, the rug is going to develop this mothball odor. So when you remove it from uh, storage, you can expect the odor to st stick around for a little while. And we would only recommend using this if your rug is going to be stored for a while, let's say over a year, or if there is a high risk of moth developing because of the location where you're storing the rug. So for the third step, you want to roll the rug as evenly and as tightly as possible. If you have a smaller rug, then we definitely recommend rolling it in one piece so that way you avoid any sorts of folds or creases in the rug over time and basically it's pretty simple you lay down the rug on a flat surface and then you just start rolling it from one end to another and keep it as even and as tight as possible as you're rolling the rug now if you have a larger rug and it's not going to really work out rolling it in one piece is going to take too much space then what you want to do is basically fold it like a hot dog uh, the long way first and then you want to fold it again this time kind of like a hamburger and then start rolling it from one end to another this way the rug is going to be easier to store uh, and it's going to be smaller in size just make sure that as you're folding it everything stays even and then as you're rolling it you keep it as tight as possible now for the fourth step we want to wrap up the rug in a nice durable and breathable wrapping material so the point of this step is to keep away the dust and the dirt from getting into the rug while it's in storage. Also, it's going to help with the pests and the moth from accessing the rug too easily while it's in storage. So for the wrapping material, there's two different types of materials that we recommend. One of them, which is a natural fiber, is better for long-term storage because this is the most breathable material. And then if you have difficulty finding this material, then you can use paper wrap, which would be better for short-term storage. So the actual process of wrapping the rug, once you have the wrapping material, is pretty straightforward. You just want to cut out the wrapping material to be uh, big enough for the rug to be rolled inside at least a couple of times and leave about a foot of extra material on each side so that once you roll up the rug inside of it, you can easily tie up each end with a zip tie to keep it nice and sealed. So now that you have the rug clean and wrapped up, we're ready for our fifth and final step, which is storing the rug in a dry and well ventilated space. So again, we want to try to avoid any sort of space that has high humidity and high temperatures that can develop moisture in the rug and attract pests and moth and all those issues that we went over. So now that we know how to prepare your rug for storage, I want to go over some tips for you for how to maintain your rug while it's in storage. So the first tip is we want to try to avoid stacking any sort of heavy items on top of the rug because over time while the rug is in storage, this could end up crushing the rug and distorting it. So another tip is we want to keep some space around the rug so we allow the rug to breathe. So basically I would leave a few inches of space on either side of the rug to allow for good air circulation and allow the rug to breathe 
and that way it doesn't develop any sort of moisture inside of the fabrics. So the next tip is to check on the rug regularly, especially if the rug is going to be in storage for a long time, let's say for one year or longer. So what we recommend here is to remove the rug from storage about every six months and open the rug up in the sun somewhere where it can breathe for one day and then check on the rug make sure that everything is okay that there's no damage to the rug no moth developing and then wrap up the rug again and put it back into storage now this concludes our video on how to properly store your persian or oriental rug i really hope that you enjoy this video and you could take some of the lessons that i learned and apply it to storing your rug so that way it will last for generations to come and if you want to learn more about rug care, then I invite you to check out our site, CatalinaRug.com. And we have a lot of different blog posts about rug care topics there, covering anything from how to vacuum your rug, how to use rug padding, how to remove stains from your rug. Also, we have a rug care playlist here on YouTube where you could binge on videos covering all the different rug care topics. And again, we are adding new videos every week. And again, if you like this video, then I invite you to like, subscribe, comment below, and I will see you in the next video.